Welcome to GTech. Today we are going to see about cosmic rays. What is cosmic ray? A ray of radiation of extraterrestrial origin consisting of one or more charged particles such as photons, alpha particles and larger atomic nuclei. Cosmic rays entering the atmosphere collide with atoms producing secondary radiation such as pions, muons, electrons and gamma rays. You can see in the picture right side shows you about the cosmic rays that consists of proton, muons, pions, neutrino, electron, positron, photon. Now let us see about latitude effect. Variation of cosmic ray intensity that is I with geomagnetic latitude theta showed that the intensity is maximum at poles that is at theta is equals to 900 minimum at the equator theta is equals to 0 and constant between latitudes of 420 and 900 below you can see the graphical representation of latitude effect where intensity is taken in the y-axis and latitude theta is taken in the x-axis and pole theta is equals to 0 is shown so that region is the equator region and here it is minimum that is the cosmic ray is minimum and similarly when theta is 900 it is maximum and it is constant when it is 420 and 900. Now let us see about the altitude effect. Altitude effect is seen that the intensity increases with altitude and reaches a maximum at a height of about 20 km. Above this height there is a fall in intensity. The experimental results are similar at different places of earth. Right side you can see the graphical representation of altitude where intensity I is marked in y axis and altitude H is marked in x axis. Now let us see about cosmic ray shower. Cosmic ray shower is a detecting device. It is used to study cosmic ray intensities. It is observed that the intensity rises momentarily to several times its normal value which indicates sudden bursts of radiation. You can see in the picture left side shows you the cosmic ray shower. It gets splitting down that is bursting into radiation. Now let us see about the elementary particles of cosmic ray. Extensive studies on cosmic ray have revealed the existence of numerous nuclear particles like myosins. So you can see the particle classification. So the particle classification has leptons and hadrons at first and this hadron is again further divided into mesons and baryons. Now let us see about Photon. Photon is a quantum of radiation with no charge and no mass but it is a carrier of energy. It travels with velocity of light. Thank you.